Today I'm going to show you how to import a um, Cordova phone gap project into Android Studio. We're also going to build an APK so you can test it on your phone or your tablet or whatever. Okay, so for this example, we are going to need to install Node.js. So let's download that. I'm going to download this one for the Windows. Press the next button. So let's open our command prompt, cmd, run this as administrator, and uh, we're going to install PhoneGap on our computer. Uh, to install it, uh, we're going to go npm install g PhoneGap. Oh, I don't like the name of that. Okay, so press enter, and this will install. Adobe phone cap on your system for free give it some time it takes uh, about uh, about a minute or so show me all the uh, deprecated stuff which I don't need to know but they feel they need to um, display that as I said this could take uh, a minute or so it's been about um, it's been about uh, two minutes so far very good so we're gonna go CD back CD back back and now we don't see so let's go to C drive, okay, right in the root directory. Uh, you don't have to do it here, you can uh, do it in any folder. So let's type phone gap, create uh, ww test. You can call this whatever you want, you don't have to call it a ww test. Just hit enter, and this will create our project. Right, here we go creating project uh, it's gonna show up here any second now there is our project there we go so there is our um, so there is our project here here is what we're interested in this is an HTML5 application here uh, this has nothing I'm just gonna open this here you can see that uh, this is just a regular HTML5 document it's going to be converted into um, into an Android app, which brings me to GDevelop. If you notice that, uh, you go to uh, GDevelop and uh, you go create project. I'm going to create an empty template. You can see that uh, you can save this as an HTML5 document as well. Now it doesn't have to be a document. It could be a game. Uh, it could be an application or anything. Uh, which brings me to uh, also uh, Construct Three. Uh, you can. Um, I'm not saying do it, but you could. <laughs> <laughs> Theoretically, you could do it if you wanted to. I don't think you're allowed to. Uh, uh, I think I don't think you're allowed to commercialize anything you make uh, with the free version. There is really no one, no one checking. I mean, there is no way to check if you made the application with um, uh, Fusion, the free version, or um, or Construct, the free version, which allows you to create the HTML5 uh, games without having to pay anything. Now there are other game engines out there that lets you create. Um, HTML5 games for free. Theoretically, you could bring them here and convert them into um, APKs, and then you will have, and then you will transform them into Android apps. For now, uh, this is all we're doing right now. Now, remember, Android Studio lets you sign and um, create APK files, which you can upload to the Google Play Store. So, let's uh, close this. And, uh, we don't need GDevelop for now. I think we have a lot of GDevelop content in the past week. So, um, here is our config file. Here you can um, give your uh, application a, um, a name. I can just call my Sparksoft. And call it uh, Super Game 20XX. There we go. Application name, we can call it uh, Super uh, Mega Man uh, 20XX. Oh, that's 10XX. Now, you don't even have to do this because you uh, are obviously going to bring in your own uh, uh, XML file from your um, application, whatever your um, your game saves. So you don't even have to do that. I'm just showing you this uh, uh, just because we can. Okay, so let's uh, open um, Android Studio. If you don't have Android Studio, download it. It's free. So let's open it. It is Android Studio. 
download it it's free i think i said that twice already why do i keep repeating myself i don't know maybe i'm crazy hey who said that uh be aware that uh, android studio is a bit sluggish but uh, it's a very good application at the time of this recording i'm using a uh, android studio 3 but it should work with later versions and lower versions as well now we can bring in um now we can bring html5 just like this we have to convert this into a um an android project so first we need to go inside the folder so the folder is uh, cd uh, ww test and we're gonna go phone gap oops i can't spell phone gap build android Okay, and just give it a second there. And it's going to make a build for Android on their platforms. It's almost there. Let's make sure it's finished. Waiting for that to finish. Now I'm doing this video because um, um, I read in the comments that um, some people do feel lost without uh, uh, paid applications to create um, uh, APK files and to sign the applications. Basically, I'm doing this video to show you that there, there are uh, manual ways to create um, Android applications. Actually, HTML5 is not it's not even that hard to learn. Okay, so that's done. And uh, now we have this project here. So just let me show you what it is under platforms, Android. And here is our um, Android Studio uh, project. So we need to copy this address. And uh, we are going to return to Android Studio and uh, open an uh, existing project. Let me just uh, paste this here and open it. Now, this could take a while. Wait for the uh, configuration to finish. I have one error here, and I think it's related to the Android version. So, let me just um, fix that now. Open the manifest. And here it is on SDK version 16. We're going to increase this to maybe set it to 14. Let's see, build sync. Uh, let me just sync this again. I think everything seems fine, so let me just um, run this app. There is our phone there. We have to wait for the phone to oh, it crashed on me, son of a gun. Oh, okay, so that crashed because of my recorder. So I'm using a different recorder right now. Let me just uh, try this again. I'm pretty sure it's the recorder causing it, and I was right. You should see the Android logo there. There you go. We're gonna wait for the application to start. I'm going to show you this so you don't think you're limited to just using uh, game engines. So if you're in HTML, you can create Android apps. Okay, so we're gonna wait for the app now. And there is our app just like that so I'm going to switch uh, recorders right now because um, I, I don't like Bandicam <laughs> I like it but it, it's you know it's not the same at least for this kind of recordings so let me just close this here stop Bandicam okay so I just had to check that uh, uh, Bandicam actually saved my video so now let me show you how to create an APK from this so let's go to build you can create an uh, APK or assign APK for the uh, Google Play Store. Let me just create one for now. Uh, call this key Super Key. Super Key 1. Uh, actually, I think we have to make it. I'm going to save the key here on uh, C. Let me just call it um, Super Key 1. Password 1234567. One, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. Super key one. Punch in the password. There we go. Uh, first name, Sparkman. And province, I uh, just go like California. I got another CA. Uh, Los Angeles. Country code. Just put US there. Or Canada, or whatever you put US there for now. And let's press next. Now, where do we want to save our um, application? I think that's fine there. Now for the signature version, we are going to go for uh, V2. Finish. And that's going to build an APK file for the Google Play Store. 
wait for that to add to finish. I don't know how ethical it would be uh, to create games uh, with a free version of um, Construct or Fusion. So let's have a look at the folder, uh, platforms, Android, apps, release, and there you go. There is your uh, APK file ready for the Google Play Store. So there you go. You don't actually have to pay to create um, APK files. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, take a, uh, a GDevelop game or a game from any other game engine, as long as it's an HTML5 uh, document, and uh, we are going to convert it into an Android app. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye now.